Okay, so in this video we're going to look at uh, how to find the sum of uh, the two series cos theta add cos 2 theta add blah 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 cos n theta and sine theta add sine 2 theta add blah 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 sine n theta. In actual fact we're going to find two formulae uh, uh, for these using exactly the same method. So let's start uh, at the beginning and uh, look at uh, e to the i theta. We're looking at complex numbers here because this is how we're going to derive the formula. Equals cos theta add i sine theta. We're going to look at four formulae um, and e to the i n theta using De Moivre's theorem and if you haven't uh, uh, come across De Moivre's theorem please check out our Gresty Academy video on that uh, equals cos n theta add i sine n theta. Uh, looking at the conjugates of these two, we've got e to the minus i theta is cos theta minus i sine theta, and e to the minus i n theta equals cos of n theta minus i sine of n theta. Now, from uh, this one and this one, if we add them up, we get e to the i theta add e to the minus i theta, that's an i, sorry, equals to cos theta and e to the i uh, theta minus e to the minus i theta just taking them away 2i sine theta and from this one and this one exactly the same we're going to get e to the i n theta add e to the minus i n theta equals 2 cos n theta and e to the i n theta minus e to the minus i n theta equals 2 i sine n theta and we are going to use these equations presently. Okay so what we're going to do to find the sums uh, is we're going to look at the uh, series uh, e to the i theta add e to the 2 i theta add e to the 3 i theta add da, 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 e to the n i theta. Okay, and I'm going to write it slightly different. I'm going to write it as e to the i theta add e to the i theta, let's put this in another couple of times, e to the i theta, add e to the i theta times e to the i theta squared, and you'll see why I'm doing this in a minute, add da, 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 e to the i theta times e to the i theta to the power of n minus 1. Okay, well, let, let's just look at, uh, and you'll see why I've written it in that form in a second, but let's just look at this. Um, e to the i theta is, we know, cos theta add i sine theta, and e to the 2 i theta, this one, is add cos of 2 theta add i sine of 2 theta, add e to the i 3 theta is cos of 3 theta add i sine 3 theta, and e to the n add da 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 cos of n theta add i sine n theta. Now if we take the reals of this we find that it is exactly what we want for cos and if we take the imaginaries we find it is exactly what we want for sine. So basically what we need to do is we need to find a formula to sum this. Uh, and once we found the formula to sum that, uh, all we do is we take the real part of that sum and that will give us cos theta add cos 2 theta add cos 3 theta add cos n theta and the imaginary part of that sum and that will give us sine theta add sine 2 theta add sine 3 theta add sine n theta. And fortunately, as luck would have it, as I've written it in this form, it is quite clear that this is a geometric series, e to the i theta, where the first term, a, is e to the i theta and the ratio, r, is also e to the i theta. And we can see, so we've got the a plus a r plus a r squared plus blah 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 a r to the n minus 1. Okay, now we know that the sum of a geometric series with first uh, term a and ratio r, the sum of that is equal to uh, a r to the n minus 1 over r minus 1. That's just a well known uh, formula for the sum of a geometric series. Okay, so putting in our thing, we know that the sum of that series is e to the i theta times e to the i n theta, which is the ratio to the power of n minus 1 over the ratio e to the i n, sorry, e to the i theta, my apologies, e to the i theta minus 1. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to sort this out and see if we can get this into a form that uh, um, 
Now, this is where these four formulae will come in in a minute, these four here. So we'll uh, just, just look, take a look out for that. Right, so what we're going to do is let's have a look at this bit here first. And we're going to rewrite e to the i n theta minus 1. We're just going to take e to the i n theta over 2 out as a factor, leaving us with e to the i n theta over 2 minus e to the minus i n theta over 2. And if we expand that bracket, we just get back to where we are there. Why have we done that? Well, e to the i n theta over 2 minus e to the minus i n theta over 2, looking at our formula is this one, 2i sine n, uh, whatever the theta is. So we can then replace that by 2i sine n theta over 2. And then if we look at this one here, we can do exactly the same thing. Let's move it down there. e to the i theta minus 1. Let's take out e to the i theta over 2 as a factor, and that will leave us with e to the i theta over 2 minus e to the minus i theta over 2 and for exactly the same uh, reason this here we can rewrite as 2i sine of theta over 2 there's the argument there and there's the argument there um, so let's go back to our sum and put in what we now know so we've got equals e to the i theta times by well e to the i n theta minus 1 we've already worked out is uh, e to the i n theta times 2i sine of n theta over 2, which is basically this expression here, over this expression here, which is e to the i theta over 2 times 2i sine of theta over 2. So this is our sum. Okay, now it may look a little bit complicated, but it's going to, get, it's going to clarify. So 2i cancels itself out. Let's have a look at this bit of the equation here. Um, and by our basic power rules, uh, we, have, uh, we add these exponents and we take that one away. So we have this bit here is e to the i theta add i n theta over 2 minus i theta over 2. And that is um, e to the i n plus 1 over 2 theta. Okay, so we can now write this whole thing here as the sum is e to the i n plus 1 over 2 theta times sine of n theta over 2 over sine of theta over 2. Right, so we have our sum. Now, that is the sum, just a reminder, that is the sum of e to the i theta, add e to the i 2 theta, add, da, 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 add e to the i n theta, which we also have already worked out uh, here, is cos theta add i sine theta, add cos 2 theta, add i sine 2 theta, add cos blah, blah, blah. So we can rewrite this here as cos of theta add cos of 2 theta add da, 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 add cos of n theta, just taking the reals together, add i, sine of theta add sine of 2 theta add da, 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 add sine of n theta. All we've done is we've, we've uh, taken the reals uh, and, and lumped them together. These are the reals and these are the imaginaries. We know that equals this sum here, e to the i n plus 1 over 2 theta times sine n theta over 2 over sine theta over 2. Okay, and we know that this bit here is real because there's no i in it. So all we can do, all we need to do now is expand this from the exponential form into the polar coordinate form, which would be cos of n plus 1 over 2 theta add i sine n plus 1 over 2 theta times by this sine n theta over 2, and we're almost there now, over sine theta over 2. And now all we need to do is just compare the reals and the imaginaries. Well, we know the real is cos theta add cos 2 theta add da, 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 cos n theta is equal to the real part of this, which is that times that equals cos of n plus 1 over 2 theta sine n theta over 
2 over sine theta over 2. And that is the answer to the sum of cos theta add cos 2 theta add blah, 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 cos n theta. And then when we compare the imaginaries, we get, let's put it in a different colour, sine of theta add sine of 2 theta add da, 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 sine of n theta equals, well, the imaginary is this bit here times that, which is sine n plus 1 over 2 theta sine n theta over 2 over sine theta over 2. And there is the solution to sine theta add sine 2 theta, blah, 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 add sine n theta. Now, if you wanted specific thetas, all you would have to do, so if you wanted, for example, uh, to put theta equals, uh, I don't know, pi over 12 or whatever, uh, so you'd have cos pi over 12, I'd cos of 2 pi over 12, I'd cos of 3 pi over 12, blah, 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 up to cos of n pi over 12. Um, all you, and let's say that you wanted n to be equal to 10, for example, all you do is just plug these two values into these two formulae, and that will give you the sum. Um, what we're going to do in the next video is we're going to do a very tricky maths olympiad uh, question which uses these two um, results that we have found.